Good evening, Tuckahoe. Welcome to the April 9, 2014 meeting of the Zoning Board. Um, if we could have a roll call, please. Member Barringer. Present. Member Estalzo. Present. Member Palladino. Present. Present. Um, Mr. Gallo's not here tonight, so I'll be chairing. Uh, we'll start off the meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance, as we always do. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> all right, the first item on tonight's agenda is the approval of the minutes of February 20th, 2014. Uh, I was not present, but we'll take a vote for the members that were present on, on approval. Did uh, everybody have a chance to, to view those minutes? Yes. And were any, are any changes being requested? No. No. What was the date of those minutes? February 20th. 20th. Yeah, February 20th. And yeah, because we didn't have a March was, meeting. Was, I just want to confirm, Member Barandas, were you on the board at that time? I was sitting in uh, for another board member at that time. I was at that time still an ad hoc. Oh, you are? I were. You were appointed as an ad hoc before that? Yes. Okay, that's fine. You could vote on it. Okay. I uh, okay. second the motion. Okay, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve those minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain? Okay. The second item on the agenda is item number 260, Fisher Avenue. Uh, I'd ask the applicant to come up. How are you? Just state your name and address for the record. Okay. And just briefly, if you could just detail um, what you're seeking to do here. There are two setbacks that the existing property um, had an existing porch that I wanted to extend around the at the corner of the lot, and the the front yard setback is um, not in code compliance, and in the rear of the building as well, there's an addition that the side yard setback is also not in code compliance. So you'll see. This, the six foot extension of the porch that wraps, uh, that's you know, in violation of the 25 foot um, uh, was required. Now if I understand the application correctly, the, the existing porch, you're merely just looking to wrap that porch around, is that correct? Well, I'm, I'm actually wanna reduce the size of that. that. That extends eight feet now, so I wanna cut that back. Um, I'm kind of turning the, the front of the house to the side. Um, I felt I had an opportunity here being on a corner that it would be more of a curb appeal to, to have the home face the other, the other uh, on Alpine place rather than on Fisher. But in doing so, I thought it would have an opportunity to, if I brought the porch around, it would aesthetically be more appealing uh, to the property. And, but so I am reducing that from eight feet to six but I'm extending that six foot um, porch 31 feet across the front of the property. And just so that the public is clear, I know we, we viewed some plans and uh, had an opportunity to look thoroughly through the application, but just in general, you're basically redoing this home, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and what type of work, just basically, uh, very briefly, are you doing to the exterior and interior? Um, the exterior presently, um, combination of a stucco first floor with aluminum siding on, uh, on the second floor. Um, I would remove all that um, and you know, change all the windows, new, uh, new roof, probably a, more of a um, hardy backer board type of siding that's used. Uh, it's a nice quality, aesthetically pleasing, um, and always open for suggestions, but some to, to raise the caliber of the, of, of, of the property. Um, the porch too would be, you know, more of a high-end finish. Um, so, and you're redoing the interior. Interior as well. total renovation. It's been totally gutted. So bring it up, insulation, 
new plumbing, new electrical, everything is new heating system, um, everything up to par. And uh, just so it's clear, um, uh, council did did uh, did the applicant send out all the proper mailings? I believe they're with the building department. Yes. Okay. Just in case that wasn't on the record, the building inspector did confirm that he received all the proper mailings. Did you receive any complaints from any of your neighbors? No, I haven't. Okay. And as far as you know, is, is everybody in support of this application? I believe so. Okay. Any questions for, from, the, from the board? Yeah, I, I have one question. Um, are you, uh, it looks like it's an existing two-family uh, home, um, and you um, wish to continue it as a two-family home. Is that right? Yes, sir. And are you changing the number of bedrooms at all, adding, subtracting bedrooms? I am know? adding uh, a third bedroom to each apartment and, and another bathroom. Um, that's only because of the layout, and uh, I wanted to add an additional uh, bedroom per unit. Anything else from anybody else on the board? Uh, I have a question for Mr. Williams. <clears throat> uh, Bill, the uh, front, the uh, address is on Fisher, and uh, that's where the main entrance is, okay? And now they're moving the main entrance onto Alpine Place. Will we be voting that it, the, uh, how should I say, that the front yard would still be on Fisher Avenue? That's correct. In other words, yours, I, everything will remain as is, and that's what we're voting on, not on the change. Yes. The, the address will remain the same, and the front of the building will remain the same. Okay, thank you. I guess they didn't. Any other members of the board have any questions or comments? Okay. Uh, at this moment, I'm going to make a motion to open this application up to the public. Do I have a second on that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is there anybody here from the public? Not seeing anybody actually even physically here, aside from the applicant. I'm going to make a motion to close the public hearing. Do I have a second on that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, I, I do have a, a proposed resolution in the form of a motion, which I will read. Um, based upon this application as submitted, the Zoning Board of Appeals finds and determines that, one, the action taken herein is an unlisted action subject to the requirements of SECRA and its implementing regulations. Two, the Zoning Board of Appeals is in possession of all information reasonably necessary <coughs> to make the determination as to the environmental significance of the proposed variance uh, application. That the, three, that the action taken herein shall not have a significant adverse impact on the environment, and it is declared that a negative declaration is hereby adopted with regard to this action. Area variance resolution. The application for an area variance request. I mean, you may want to take a vote. Oh, yeah, I'll vote on secret. Uh, um, I'm going to make a motion that the, the board adopt a negative declaration to secret. All in favor. Uh, do I have a second on that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now I'll read the area variance resolution. The application for an area variance requested by David Barra, whose address is 60 Fisher Avenue, section 43, block 6, lot 1, for relief from the following sections of the zoning code. Section 4-3.4.1, front yard setback, and section 4-3.4.2, side yard setback. Recommendation is for an area variance to be granted as the benefit to the applicant of the area variance outweighs the detriment to the health, safety, and welfare of the neighborhood. <clears throat> the applicant seeks a side and front yard, var uh, a front yard variance for 22.8 feet where 25 is required and a side yard variance for 5.96 feet where 9 is required. This zoning board determined to grant the variances as requested herein. Uh, there will not be an undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood and there will not be detriment to nearby properties. There will not be undesirable changes to the community because the condition is existing and the applicant is seeking to extend a front porch. Two, the benefit sought by the applicant cannot be achieved by some method feasible for the applicant to pursue other than an area variance. No other uh, method exists for the applicant to achieve its goals. Three, the requested variance is not substantial. The applicant only seeks 2.2 feet, uh, a 2.2 foot variance for the front yard setback and a 3.04 foot for the side yard setback. 
four, the proposed variance will not have an adverse impact on the physical or environmental condition in the neighborhood in that environmental conditions will not be increased as a result of the granting of the variances herein. Parking traffic, parking traffic, noise, and pollution shall remain unaffected by this application. Five, the alleged difficulty was self-created. Although the difficulty was self-created, it is not fatal to this application. A recommendation to approve the requested variance with the conditions that uh, that the, the variances he, are granted on the condition that work under such variances be commenced and diligently prosecuted within one year of the granting thereof, failing which some, such variances shall become null and void. Uh, Nancy, if you could please call a vote on this, this motion. Do I have a second on that? Second. Uh, Approved. I just wanted to say um, before I vote on it that, um, you know, as, as a member of the zoning board, um, we're always looking for um, projects which, uh, you know, improve the quality of uh, Tuckahoe and, uh, and its housing units and especially the beautify um, places that have become run down. And, the, the, you know, um, I live very close to this property and it's clearly um, run down and in need of some major renovation. And uh, the plan that you've uh, provided us and that we've reviewed is quite extensive and we, you know we know you're uh, spending a good amount of money to make it um, look great and to bring it up to code and to um, you know overall increase the quality uh, of the work so we're you know a as a member personally I'm very very excited for this project and we, we always love to have people that want to reinvest in Tuckahoe especially people that live right around the corner as well sure. so um, uh, like I said uh, very happy to um, vote yes and approve the motion and, and good luck well Thank you. Can I just say, or do I? Let them, I say? Just let them finish the vote. Okay, sure. Approved. In favor of the application. Thank you. Um, my biggest problem is I'm schooled in architecture, so I, I tend to forget how much things cost, and I, aesthetics are <laughs> sometimes outweigh the budget. But I felt like I, being on a corner, I had an obligation to really bring this place up to looking, you know, really nice and aesthetically pleasing for the neighborhood. So I'm really excited about. It. Something about a front porch too on a corner. It's just going to really bring that that place together. So be great. I thank you for your time as well. Thank you. Appreciate Congratulations. It. Good luck. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Um, there not being any other items on tonight's agenda, I'll I'll make a, a motion to adjourn this meeting and to close the, to close the April 9, two thousand fourteen meeting of the zoning board. Do I have a second on that motion? Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Good night. Aye.